So when you're trying to diagnose your oil leak, you may end up looking at your oil bolt right here and thinking that the oil pan bolt right here is leaking because you may have not have tightened it correctly, but I've changed every single bit of oil here. But when you look a little bit further up, you're gonna see a little bit more oil on that nut right there, and that's from the oil um, filter housing. So in total, there's three, one, two and then one slightly above that which is going to be the third nut and we're going to remove that next okay so once you end up taking the oil filter housing off i left went ahead and left the oil filter on there but i kind of wanted to show you what it looked like from the uh, top portion and some things to look at i ended up using a ratchet to take this out and um, these bolts and these bolts weren't too tough to get out but this bolt was the toughest um, so you had to angle the ratchet vertical right here to get enough leverage and you'll notice that the axle will cover this portion to not allow you to easily get this out so uh, when you put on the ratchet sorry, open box wrench um, your open box wrench the ease that I used for this one was this um, gear wrench version right here, this 12 millimeter um, open box wrench, and I only had enough leverage to move out this way. So I'll go ahead and link it on there for you. But I just wanted to show you um, how tough it was. Um, I ended up buying some things I didn't need. Um, I do not recommend um, this type of wrench. I thought I'd have a little bit more uh, leverage on here, but that was the wrong wrench. Um, so this 12 uh, millimeter one with this um, ratcheting system in here worked out the best. But kind of wanted to show you that. Um, I'm going to go ahead and take these two off uh, using a flathead screwdriver. If you have a pick, um, that'll work as well. And uh, we're going to reinstall uh, the new gaskets. So just to give you a point of reference, this car has over 147,000 miles. Um, when you're removing these, um, these gaskets will stick to this. So I kind of wanted to show you a little bit about the insides inside here. And the gasket old here is pretty hard, not as nimble as uh, we've seen there as well. And the thing I want you to take a look at is that there's going to be some excess um, gasket right here. Make sure you clean up and get rid of all of that. So um, we're going to go ahead and reinstall the next gasket, but I'm going to go ahead and clean out the remainder of all of these old gaskets. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and link both of these part numbers uh, below for you. Um, but after you clean, you may want to take some brake cleaner and clean these along the way. Um, these will set um, a particular way in these. So just make sure it gets set inside there. And then um, the gasket will compress along the way. So as you see here, it'll fit in here. And then the second gasket right here, um, we're going to go ahead and put in the second gasket. Some people may put a little bit of motor grease here to kind of keep it in line. So um, just be careful in terms of what you're doing. I think the hardest part of this job so far has been the amount of work it's taken to take off um, this component. Um, so, you know, a lot of work. So we're gonna reinstall it next. We're gonna pre-thread this top. Okay, so what I mean by this is you wanna go ahead and thread each of these by hand. Um, it'll be much easier. You start off with that top bolt and kind of thread that in by hand. That's gonna be the hardest one to access. Best of luck.